So today we are looking at the Chrome browser and specifically the Chrome browser on your phone. So when we're working on the phone here, I've installed the Chrome browser instead of working with Safari. Now, when I launch that, right now I'm looking at the TLDSB web page. Just like the tabs you have across the top of the browser when you're working on your laptop, here, if I look at the bottom of my browser, I actually have a little three at the moment. That's letting me know the number of tabs I currently have open. If I go ahead and tap on that, I'm going to see all three of those tabs. So Mariposa up at the top, Lindsay, and then the TLDSB homepage is there as well. If I hit the little plus at the bottom, of course I can open a new tab and it just kicks me into my Google search page. Now currently I can see up in the corner, just like when I'm on Chrome on my laptop, that I'm actually logged in with my TLDSB account. So that's right there at the top. I've got it syncing my stuff, I've got it syncing bookmarks and history and all that, and you're going to see why in two seconds here. So, I will go ahead and swipe to the left, swipe again, and swipe again. I'm swiping in this case right across the actual um, bar at the top, right where I would normally type the address if I was going to add a new one. You can swipe left and right across the actual address bar to get to the previous tabs. So that's one way to get there. The other way is, of course, to hit the little four, in this case at the bottom, it's going to open them up and I can just pick one of those other tabs. Just tap on that, I'm going to be able to launch that other tab. Next, I have the ability, of course, to just go back and forward. So at the bottom left corner, there's little arrows going back and forward. Now that's not moving to those other tabs. That's whenever you browse around within a particular page and you decide to visit one of those articles, those links and such that you see there. I can see that loading at the top. There it is. Now I can hit that little back left arrow in the bottom corner there and it will take me back to the actual home page. Uh, so that's not switching between tabs. Now, one of the great advantages with using Chrome here is that when I'm in there and I go ahead and I go look at those tabs, at the top I'm seeing the number four for my existing tabs, but right next to it I also see this little computer tablet type symbol. Well that is for all of the other devices that I've signed into using this account. So currently I'm on my laptop and that's why I see below my recently closed I can see EALC Tyndale 1. That's the laptop I'm actually using right now. So I can see on there some of the different tabs that I've had open today. My inbox, Power BI, TLDSB calendar, all these different things. So if I were to tap on one of these guys, it's going to kick me to those different tabs. Mail is probably a bad example because of course it wants me to use the app in this case. So I'll just come back to here, slide over, scroll down, and as I scroll I can see a Chromebook, a couple of Chromebooks showing up here. Those are Chromebooks I was sent into earlier today. So again, it's recording my history everywhere that I go and now allowing me to then access all of those different tabs that I've been to on all these different machines, there's another laptop, there's another laptop, um, all these ones that I've accessed and vi revisit any of the pages that I went to. I can say done the bottom corner and I'm right back to where I was. Now, of course, I don't necessarily only want to be able to get to the stuff that I visited recently. If I'm syncing up here and I've got all that data in here, I want to be able to get to all my bookmarks as well. So I can do that. What I'm going to do in this case is tap on one of these and at the very bottom I have my three dots. Three dots are where I would go if I needed to scroll down and choose settings because I hadn't logged in yet. I could choose settings from here and log into my account. Clearly I've done that already. Instead I'm going to choose bookmarks. So I choose bookmarks, there's our doc, this is the stuff right on my bookmarks bar. So this is the stuff I normally see on my laptop right below the address bar. I'm seeing our doc, TLDSB, the Brightspace homepage, all that kind of stuff. So if I were just to tap on, say, our doc as an example, I'd be able to pull up that page since I am, of course, logged in with my TLDSB account. It's going to load for me. And that's the mobile version of the page getting all compressed down, but I can still visit all these different features and get to what I'm looking for in this case. So my bookmarks are all available. I can swipe across the top there to get to the previous pages if I wanted to get to those. There we go, next one. And I can always launch that 
and then hit the little X to close each of these as I need to. And then just stick to the ones that I'm actually using. So the Chrome browser, very handy option to be able to access all the same kind of information and history and bookmarks that you would use on your laptop uh, without having to search or type or rediscover any of those pages.